In speaking of Handel's Messiah, uh, most people think that UMS started because a group of people wanted to sing the complete Messiah in a concert. Well, unfortunately, my research has proven that there was no complete Messiah in 1879. It was a choral concert which had three choruses from Messiah on it. And a later concert that year had another concert that had two other choruses. So in the first year, you only got five choruses out of the entire Messiah and none of the arias. The other thing is that it was not until much later that the work was done complete. Even through the mid-1970s, probably a half hour of music was cut from the annual Messiah. Um, I actually had a tape of one of the performances from the early 70s and gave it to Jerry Blackstone. And he actually was laughing about the cuts that were made in it because, how could you cut this? I love that chorus. But the tempos were so much slower that Jerry's uncut performance is actually faster than the older cut performances of Messiah. In my time in the 60s, there were probably 300 participants in the choral union. So of course, temples had to be slower. You simply can't get 300 people to sing that quickly together. And obviously, you know, Handel had between orchestra and chorus under 50 people at the premiere. So it was a very different era. And most people wanted a Messiah at that time that reflected the majesty of the work. Whereas today we tend to think in terms of what was the composer expecting? And it's a difference in attitude and I'm not sure one is right and one is wrong, but it's what we live with today.